All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back for another video. Uh, thanks for joining me. Today we're working on the 190E. Today we'll be, uh, if you didn't see by the thumbnail or, or the title, I guess, uh, we're gonna be working on the 190E a little bit. Uh, my wife actually started this uh, project while I was at work and now I have to figure out how to put it back together. But uh, this is the stock grill. This is off, there's a new one right over here. That one's gotta go back on, this one's gotta come off. Well, this one's off already, this one's staying off. Um, this one, let's just see right here, right there, it's broken. So, uh, plus the other one looked better. So, uh, let's swap this out and uh, keep, keep it going. First, um, we have this part for it too, but if you see this, this is our hood prop right here for the, for the time being because this one, this hydraulic guy doesn't seem to be working, so it's got a new one. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad. It looks like there's a clip here and probably another clip down there. Should be a couple seconds, so uh, let's swap that out and then we'll have a little bit more space. So this, uh, the piece that was attached to the car is just like this weird ass, weird clip. You just gotta get a screwdriver under here, pry it up and just push it out, slides out that way. Put this one on the new one, slide it back in. Pretty simple. What size is the measurement? Got a 13 millimeter on this, which probably should have said that before. Um, then this just goes back the reverse way that you came out. So you just need the pliers, to squeeze that, it slides out that way. This uh, might have to hold this hood up a little bit more, so. Ah, my light. Voila, done. I the, change the hood prop on the bends. I do have here somewhere underneath all this other crap. Those are ones for my 240, so those will eventually go here. I believe there and there, I guess. Um, and then I won't need this hood prop anymore. Right now the hood's like floppy, so at least it'll hold it even on both sides and it won't look lopsided, but we'll get there. All right, so we're gonna throw the grill on since the, the hood prop. Um, if you noticed any uh, keen observers notice I didn't tighten the bolt, I tighten the bolt now. Um, that's on. Uh, grill goes on, very simple. You take the other one off. Uh, we were missing one of these, but uh, you gotta transfer the clips from your old grill onto this one. Eight millimeter bolts. There's uh, a couple of them. Some of them aren't lined up anywhere near where they have to be. Those get clipped in. Uh, we're gonna have to, when the new one comes in the mail, we have a new thing, cause that broke. The hood star. The hood star emblem thing. Uh, so we're gonna, you just gotta line it up with your holes on the hood, put some bolts in and tighten them down. So, um, I need bolts. Just make sure that's what we got there. And then don't forget your little uh, latch for the hood. That's gotta line up too. Two of them started. Uh, where's my little ratchet guy? Right here. Just making them snug for now. And we're missing how many of these? We're missing one. We have five. And it was already missing. There was only five. All right, so uh, there was four along the top, two on the sides. We're missing one, so we only did five. Um, we got here, 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 and here. No, no, that's wrong. We have here, 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 and here. Those are the spots we have. Um, 
let's shut this thing, let's see how it looks. And like I said, we're missing the uh, emblem for the top, but let's check it out. Looks good, hold on. Uh, hold on. I put the broken one in just so you get the full effect. Looks good. Nice. Looks good. Um, there should be new headlights coming in the mail today. Uh, just waiting on FedEx. It is Sunday and why are we out of focus? It's Sunday, but apparently FedEx delivers today, so we'll see. I don't, I'm not keeping my, I'm not holding my breath on that one. But new headlights are coming, new side markers also, right? Clear corner, yeah. Clear, clear corners and headlights. This headlight doesn't look as bad, but this one looks really bad. So those are gonna get cleaned up. Uh, should be nice fresh ones. Tail lights are coming. Um, I do have brakes on the on the shelf. Brakes have to get changed. Um, and then I got this other thing from when I had a Subaru. Hold on. So anyone with the Subaru knows what these are. Um, turbos. So uh, those are hella horns. I will. Ev I'm eventually gonna put those in. Uh, the stock horn is actually right right behind the grill, like over here somewhere. So those will go in, but I don't feel like doing it now because I think I gotta wire a couple things, like a relay or whatever. Brake calipers are gonna get painted red, I think. So the hellas, the hella horns might work in red. We might paint them, might repaint them. Uh, don't know yet. Very simple, just a couple screws. So we'll figure it out. And of course, I don't have any before footage of this grill, so I will insert a stock photo of a stock AF. 190E because that's basically what this is. Um, so that's right here. And then uh, show you the grill again from that angle over there because I can't get in front of it good. A couple more updates um, of things that we kind of did to the car. We're not completely set on it, but uh, I'm horrible at doing this, so I just had scrap I had like extra laying around so I put some wrap on this bottom panel here this is a bad angle but these are obviously these are all gray like this um, I wrapped it black uh, I could try to get a better view of it another time but as you see looks like crap but it gives a good idea of what it would look like completely black so we might wind up painting those black at some point just to uh, make the whole car look like pretty like clean um, Especially if we're going for like a OEM plus slash like that Evo 2 style So this was uh, this week plastic dips. Uh, my wife actually did that herself uh, What we're gonna wind up doing the other one's done too. What we're gonna wind up doing probably taping this off on the roof do that around the rear window and The front window has it also like it's so old. It started turning like bronze slash gold um, I'm assuming that was chrome at one point. I also ordered a bunch of LED uh, bulbs for the car. Um, they came in. Um, we don't know. We don't remember where any of them goes. So that's going to be a, a learning experience for all of us. Got to figure out where they go. Uh, I know there's like a license plate one. There's uh, interior stuff and I think taillight stuff. So when the new taillights come, uh, we'll have bulbs that work for it, that are nice and bright. Um, headlights were changed because there was uh, one of the bulbs was it wasn't. In regular headlight mode, it was working fine, but the high beam part of it was messed up. And they were very old and yellowy looking, so I got new bolts for the front. And uh, we're gonna have to actually see about the corner markers. Maybe we'll get LEDs for that. I don't remember if we order those or not. And the paint that I was talking about last time, uh, if you see here, I still didn't do the other half, like this half of the car is done. I didn't really do this half of the car because I'm lazy about it. Um, but I could use a stronger, Probably a stronger compound or a stronger pad, but this is like, there's still swirls in it. You see a bunch of swirls. That's the side that was done. And then over here is like really bad. I mean, after all the car is from 91, so that's uh, almost 30 years. What is it, 29 years old? So the paint looks, I think the paint looks pretty good for the age of it. There is a couple little rust spots underneath, but they're not like bad spots to have rust. I guess it's like kind of common um, and none of it's like really bad rust. But uh, right at the moment, what we're working on is just kind of like re refreshing the car to make it look like almost like uh, almost like stock OEM, but uh, just a little update. So other updates, uh, my 240 over here uh, have some parts. Uh, if you 
subscribe to the channel because I'm going to try to fix one of us one of my starting issues um, sometimes it doesn't like to crank um, with a part off a forklift so if you're interested in seeing that uh, subscribe join again because I don't know when I'm gonna film that one I might try to film it later today and then it probably won't get posted for another week I'm working on uh, the video for the digital dash so if you remember that the little unboxing video is up here if you want to go check it out I'm working on doing that I really only had like a half hour to mess around with it um, I fixed one of the wiring issues so when I get around to filming more about that I'm just gonna make one like video because I started filming last week and then it was like pointless because it was not much and nothing really got accomplished so I'm gonna continue that video and uh, I'll go over what I fixed and hopefully the dash is actually working all right so I'm trying to get a, a view with the uh, the bends over here so you can kind of see the grill um, I want to thank you guys for joining me uh, we're just gonna probably just throw some LEDs in try to f like I said we got to figure out where the hell they all go um, if you're interested in more stuff going on with this build like I said in the, the like introduction video that I just posted um, there might be like a motor swap in the future of this car so leave some comments if you have an idea of what motor swap we might be doing I know someone had a suggestion already thanks for joining me um, be sure to subscribe uh, like comment in the video if you if you saw anything if you know any more mods that we should do to refresh this um, got to, like I was explaining we got a bunch more stuff coming in the mail um, and then a lot more plans for it and then also the 240 over here if you're interested in JDM content subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one